Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. In this case, the morning, a few things going on. I actually did something uh, right away. I copied a link, and I'm going to plunk it in the description here, I hope, uh, because I really encourage people to go over to the Real News Network. Boy, I should be their uh, spokesperson. To the Real News Network for an interview with... Max Blumenthal and a woman whose name always escapes me, but she was an FBI whistleblower about the insanity that uh, ensued yesterday with that James Comey hearing and how ridiculous it was and how it didn't really prove anything or show any of the intent, intended purpose of having the hearing. Also, evidently, from I've looked at different clips this morning, one thing that did come out in that hearing that was kind of interesting is that um, evidently Loretta Lynch had uh, taken Comey aside, as my friend Mick likes to say. Do you want me to take her aside for you? I'm sure. And um, said, look, can you not refer to your investigation into Hillary? Which you do realize, ladies and gentlemen, Hillary Clinton was under FBI investigation from the get-go of her campaign. But... The DNC thought she was a tremendous asset to the community, and let's go ahead and run her. Not only run her, but cheat to make sure that she's the winner of the a primary. Yeah, a woman under FBI investigation, but okay. Evidently, Comey was asked by Loretta Lynch to please don't refer to it as an investigation. Can we just call it a matter? Okay, so, well, that sounds interesting to me, ladies and gentlemen. Another thing that came out was um, that Donald Trump was, according to the interview I just saw of Comey, or the part of it, when he was asked, that he was not, that he, uh, the gentleman who was asking, asked, how many times can I say ask, uh, was he under investigation? And the answer was no from Comey. And of course, getting back to jotting this stuff down on a cocktail napkin and that serving as some sort of legal and binding memo. I've never in my days, I don't think it was really a cocktail napkin, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a little saying that I like to use. Let me jot it down on a cocktail napkin. I got it from my friend Mick, of course. My whole life was stolen from Mick, really. Okay? I don't have anything original. It's all Mick. Mick, Mick. At any rate, having anything that, you know, oh, I left a meeting and flew home and wrote this down on, you know, the back of a match book. Do they even put those out anymore at restaurants? You know, and that's somehow legal and binding. It's ridiculous. The whole purpose of this particular morning video is to encourage you to follow the link that I'm going to attempt to plunk right down here. Max Blumenthal really just told it like it is. I mean, I am so proud of him. I could just give him a big old sugar kiss and a flower hug. All right, signing off, uh, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day.